Well, good morning. I hope you're doing well today. I pray God's blessings will be upon you as you go throughout this day. And I pray that you'll give him time. You'll spend time with him in prayer today. Maybe you've already done it. Maybe you've already spent time in his word. If you haven't, please do that today. We need to spend as much time as we can praying and talking to God. I, in my devotions today, there was a statement in there, and I, I've known it all along, but today it just really jumped out at me. And it was talking about prayer. The awesomeness of prayer is at any moment of any day, I can pray to God about a person's need on the other side of the world at right now and God will hear it and dispatch the answer to that need according to his will. Think about that. In a moment's notice, I can pray for somebody all the way around the world and then that moment God hears and moves. What an awesome God we serve. I want to look today at Philippians chapter 4. This is Paul's letter to the Philippian church and I want to look at verse 11, 12, and 13. It says, Now, not that I speak in respect of want, for I have learned in whatever state I am therewith to be content. I know how both to abase, to be abased, I know how to abound everywhere and in all things I am instructed, both to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and to suffer need. This is the key verse. I can do all things through Christ, which strengthens me. The problem of this world today is money and greed and, and pride. And God knew that money and greed and pride would be a tough thing for us to overcome. We can't do it on our own. And a lot of people today are not content. And because they're not content, they're in misery. They're, they're hurting. They're, they're anxious. They're nervous. They're scared. They're afraid that any moment everything could collapse around us or around them. Some people are, are living so paycheck to paycheck that one little hiccup and, and because they don't have their trust in God but gee Paul said here I, I, I've learned in whatever state I am whether I am in need whether I am in want or whether all my needs are met and everything is going great I, I know I am content because I have what God has given me for the moment everything folks we own today is all belongs to the Lord you and I are just stewards of it are we handling it the way he wants us to? We need to ask God, when he blesses us, we need to handle it with care. He's given it to us for a reason, to meet our need, or maybe to take what we have in abundance and go out and meet the needs of someone else. We're not to be hoarders. We're to take that that God has blessed us with and use it to bless others that they too may come to know Jesus Christ as his Lord and Savior. We need to look at this, though. Christ's power and grace rest upon every believer to enable to do all that he has asked them to do. God has blessed us, and I know he has blessed you. He has blessed me beyond measure, more than I ever dreamed, more than I've ever asked for. He's given me what I need. And he tells us many places in his Bibles, don't be anxious for anything. If you have a need, go before him with that need. He says to go boldly before the throne of Christ. He says, in another word, in another part of the Bible, he says, I already know what you got need of before you even ask. And then he tells us, you have not because you ask not. But he says, I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. And that's what he says, when you ask anything in my name and believe, you shall receive. So today, folks, let's be content. Let's know that come what may, God has the answer. And you know, in Matthew, he said, don't worry about what you're going to eat, what you're going to wear. Don't even worry about tomorrow. It may never come for you and I. We may not be here come tomorrow. The Lord may come back and snatch us out of here. Or today may be my day. Or tomorrow morning may be my day to go home to be with the Lord. Don't even worry about tomorrow. Don't worry about yesterday. It's gone. Think about today and be content with the blessings God has given you. Praise him and thank him for what he has given you. And if you have need, go before him and ask that for that need to be met. And then if you've got more than you need, take that and bless others in the name of Christ. Remember, I can do all things through Christ, which strengthens me. God, thank you today. God, that you love us so much. You just pour out blessing after blessing after blessing. And I am so thankful for that today, God. I, I praise you, and I know everything that I have came from you. 
And I praise you today for that. Bless those, though, that are hurting, maybe those that do have a need. Meet the needs of their life today. God, I pray according to your abundance and glory, according to your will. And God, let us all be careful to praise you for everything that we have today. In Jesus' name, amen. May God bless you.